welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the last video. The changes proposed in this podcast will closely relate to the changes proposed in the previous video. They work hand in hand with each other to improve the game as a whole. Objective control, relics of power. In a nutshell, it comes down to incentives. Currently, Warhammer Online focuses mainly on the rewards towards the player and not the realm. Rewarding gold bags for keeps, static influence, and reward points. Nothing that truly supports, improves, or helps the realm as a whole. It's all about me, 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 and not we. While it is important to reward the player, it's also important to reward the realm. We take a look back at Dark Age of Camelot and Relics of Power. Yes, Relics did have a major issue, being that they made one realm far more powerful than the other two realms, giving a 20% bonus in either melee or magic. How can we apply that same concept of giving incentive and reason to engage in open RVR combat in Warhammer Online without throwing off the entire game core balance? Giving keeps and BOs value worth fighting for, a value worth defending, giving the player base the feeling of true ownership when controlling these battlefield objectives. Let's work with keeps before we go into BOs. Each keep in a contested zone within a tier will have a stat improvement value attached to it and have that keep itself act as a relic of power. Also, the stat value is based on the keeps and BOs in the contested zone element. The three major stats will be melee DPS, range DPS, and healing. Each pairing will have a specific stat improvement assigned to each of its keeps in its contested zones. Dwarf vs. Greenskin will have melee DPS applied to each keep. Empire vs. Chaos, healing. High Elves vs. Dark Elves, Range DPS. When a realm controls a keep, it will gain the stand enhancement applied to them in open RVR and PvE content. The stat enhancements from these keeps will not apply to scenarios. Let's give some examples. So, if Order controls one keep in Thunder Mountain, one keep in Dragon Week, and one keep in Prague, Order will have plus 5 improvements to melee DPS, plus 5 to range DPS, and plus 5 to healing. If Order only controls 2 keeps in Thunder Mountain, they will gain a 10% bonus to melee DPS damage. Now that we have given value to the keeps, it's time to balance things out for the underdog, allowing the realm, which has less controlled keeps in the tier, to have a fighting chance. How we do this is also simple. When a realm controls 6 keeps, and gaining the stat enhancement for each of those keeps, the strain to supply 6 of those keeps with truth and resources causes the realm to suffer as a whole. In turn, each keep will be 50% weaker. Doors will have 50% less hit points. There will be 50% less guards. There will be 50% less of the Lord's Champion guards. The Lord himself will have 50% less hit points. If a realm controls 5 keeps, the strain will only be 25% reduction instead of 50% reduction. This allows one realm to focus on controlling 4 keeps without taking a resource strain hit, and gives the underdog realm a solid fighting chance to turn the tide of battle in their favor. So, that's keeps and the incentive for a realm to control and defend the keep. Now, let's take a look at BOs. Being that these are easier to change hands, they will have a different bonus rewarded for controlling. Battlefield objectives will offer tier-wide XP and RP bonus for each one controlled. If your realm controls all three of the same type of BO, it will be rewarded with a bonus percentage increase. Take a look at this chart to better explain. Also, on top of the XP RP rewards for controlling a BO, the BO will also reward with a minor improvement on some secondary stats. Artisan's Gift will increase crafting. Merchant's Gift, the sell by coin ratio. Healing Boon will increase your overall wounds by a certain percentage. Defense Boon will increase your armor by a percentage. This will be a tier wide, realm wide bonus. And last but not least, Artisan's Gift and Merchant's Gift will also spawn Murder Balls, which will allow the player to detonate themselves against the Keep Door for major damage. Now that we have a clear understanding of Realm Rewards, let's see how we can improve the incentive to defend the Keep or BO that your Realm currently has under control. We know that from Part 1 of this podcast, in order to trigger Zone Domination and thus lock in a Zone, a Realm is required to control each Keep and each Battlefield Objective. 
This makes defending a BON keep valuable. But where is the value for the individual player? Based on the victory point changes, every 10 minutes, claim keeps and BOs will produce 5 victory points for the controlling realm, which is also when a player gets rewarded for defending a claim keep or a BO. Every 10 minutes, when the victory points tick, the claim keep or BO will also take renown and influence points for everyone in the radius of that objective, so you are being rewarded for defending. That's pretty much all there is to it. These simple adjustments to the game will be the first steps in the right direction in improving Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning and making it the great game we all want it to be.